Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is Saturday, July the 17th. It's 8.31 p.m. And yes, I'm getting on kind of late, but that's because I'm just uh, catching up a little bit more. And I wanted to put this uh, uh, prophecy letter from Dawn up because I've been hanging on to it. And it's one from... Well, actually, this one came today. I had erased the rest of them. I was like, I did, did put one up. Anyway, let me just get started because I have to take my dog out in just a bit. I'm waiting till 9 because we've been having an awful lot of rain. He didn't get to go out last night. And according to the radar, the rain should be passed by 9 o'clock, although it looked good before it got dark. Anyway... Here we go. This first one is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. And I pray that at least one of these will speak to your heart about something you're praying for. Relationship with me is a very tender thing. It is delicate and needs to be protected. It is easy to lose the sweetness of our love affair by allowing your commitment to me to become religious works. Take inventory of where you are spiritually and renew your sense of deep love, says the Lord. Refuse to drift away in your busyness. Oh, this spoke volumes to me. And I pray that if you're in a situation of you've been called into any kind of ministry or uh, I don't know if you're still stuck in a brick and mortar church, maybe it's a good one, but you're the secretary or you're the associate pastor or you're Nobody like that listens to me, I guess. But the point is, you're doing something for the Lord. And it is real easy to want to do such a good job. You get all caught up in it. And it becomes religious works. Whatever it is. And you have to take inventory of where you are spiritually and renew your sense of deep love, says the Lord. Refuse to drift away in your busyness. So, I, that's why I'm, I'm not... I'm trying not to just be on here all the time. I really kind of can't help it right now. <laughs> I'm in, in bed late, you know, but I, I like to... If I'm not actually sleeping, talk to the Lord. You know, I might pray in tongues a little. I might actually sing. It's more of a whisper, but... Anyway, then once I get up and have some coffee, I'm all right. It's just weird. It's different. Things are different now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's internet related. I don't know if it's something else related big poll they put up a few months ago related with these strange things coming out of them like I've never seen in my life. I just don't know. So anyway, the verse put with this is 2 Thessalonians 3, 5. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Anybody see any of them polls? Let me know if you've had any problems since. Okay. This one, um, I wasn't real sure about it, but I'm not, it doesn't sound like something the Lord would not say. So I'm going to go ahead and share it. It may speak to your heart. I know that deep in your heart, you want to do the right thing. So examine your motives. 
do you want to meet with a group to share your love and acceptance? Or do you just want to be able to share your grievances? You have a habit of doing that at times. The Lord is correcting somebody or some several somebodies. I know you want the love of others, but they too want your love. Precious one, examine your heart now and make some changes. So, see, that's it's a good word. Examine your heart and make some changes. The verse is second. Well, that's more fireworks. Second Corinthians thirteen five from the ESV. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the belief. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless, indeed, you fail to meet the test. And this was received by Bev Robinson. All right, next one. Some people know the mysteries of which I got to make it bigger. Excuse me. Let's see, format, style, uh, lists, style. Wait a minute. I was sure it was right here. Bigger or smaller, but it's not. Is that as big as it'll go? And she typed it as tiny as she could get it. All right. Oh, my goodness. Some people know the mysteries of which I speak. In some instances, you are quickened in your spirit about times, people, places, events, and knowing things you would not otherwise know. At Pentecost, my presence came into the upper room like a rushing wind. It was one of those and suddenly encounters. Experiencing this phenomenon is meant to bolster and encourage you. There is much more to come. Expect more. All right, here's the verse put with it. Psalm 25, verse 14 in the Passion Translation. There's a private place reserved for the devoted lovers of Yahweh, where they sit near him and receive the revelation secrets of his promises. And that was received by Kevin Robinson. The last one goes like this. My power is evident all around you as you choose to follow me closely you will have the opportunity to see many signs wonders and miracles that are not seen by those who do not choose to press in to me my child Know that my story is not a fable. My word is true, and those who press in to me will see the impossible become possible. I reveal those things to you, my beloved one. Press in and keep pressing in, and you will see what God is talking about, or Jesus. 
We had he wants us pressing in, keep at it, praying, worshiping, staying in his word. That's what he wants. Not a part time partner. Would you want a part time wife? What about what she did the rest of the time she wasn't with you? Wives, would you want a part time husband? What about what he do, did with others when he wasn't with you? You see, none of us would put up with that. Not really. Unless you're in the uh, people living in the world not giving a, a rat's patootie about their salvation, if you know what I'm saying. They want fun, fun, fun and before you know it, they're old and wrinkled and no one wants them anymore and then they're miserable. And they drink themselves to death. Okay. <laughs> That's probably the worst scenario I could have given. Anyway, um, Jesus wants you. Lo he said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strengths. And love your neighbor as yourself. Whatever you do to someone else is the same as doing it to him or for him or refusing to do for them. You know what I'm saying. He, he means what he says and he says what he means. It's all in the word. And that's why people need to read the gospels first. If you're a new Christian, relatively new be reading the Gospels before anything, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Know what Jesus taught first. Then go back and get the history. A little bit of it while you move on in Acts and, and Corinthians, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, and so on and so forth. They're all great. It, there isn't enough time to learn the whole Bible. I don't believe it. Unless you're going to be left behind. Then there will be. Okay. And then know this. If, if you're new to this channel. And I haven't said it in a few videos. There are two escapes. One. The first one is 144,000. The Bride of Christ. All right, Luke twenty one thirty six says, "Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man." What is to come to pass? See, I thought we'd be out of here before. Oh, let's say a year ago, December. But no, we're still here. But the forced version is not. Not yet. Unless you think, oh yeah it is. I would have lost my job if I hadn't have. Well, that's your choice. It still was a choice. Your life was not on the line. Alright. Yeah, my daughter lost a job over... Refusing the, the annual one. If you know what I mean. Okay. There's a choice. So. There is much more. Where was I? And why was I saying all that? It was one of those unsettling encounters, experiencing from, okay, yeah, I was at the Passion Translation. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I was down to the last one. My power is evident all around you. As you choose to follow me closely, you will have the opportunity to see many signs, wonders, and miracles. That are not seen by those who do not choose to press into me. 
My child, know that my story is not a fable. My word is true, and those who press into me will see the impossible become possible. I reveal those things to you, my beloved one. I, I'm sorry. I, thought, I forgot where I was. The verse put with that, I don't think I read, was Second Peter 1, verse 16 in the NASB. For we did not follow cleverly devised tales when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Wow. And that was received by Jonas Bolin. Now that was neat. So anyway, uh, you got a little sermon thrown in there. <laughs> I hope that helps you. I hope y'all could relate to at least one or two of those. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and all of our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I will talk to you later.